Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. And I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We did, and it's right back to chaos around here. So my video today might be a little just all over the place because I've got everybody here and they're ready to go. And it's just, I feel like I'm just scrambled. So I'm going to just try to do my best to show you everything. I'm just not as organized as I usually am. But, okay, first of all, my hair. I don't like it like this. I parted it on the side for you guys. Yesterday I did it just my old way down the middle um, and just blown out and I liked it a little bit better but I'm going to play with it. What we did is like I did last year kind of just bring the root color into my hair a little bit more and then I think I made an appointment for three weeks and I go back and get just maybe some just you know random highlights and stuff through. But um, I just could not stand. Now that I, my goal was the first time I went to him and got the Olaplex was to get the orange tones out of my hair. And I think we've done that. So now I want to get it where it's not, it's not even that I mind going, you know, every three or four weeks. But it's like it doesn't even look good the last week or two, you know. So I didn't like having that definite root color. And I think it looks better with my skin tone. To have like some darkness in it. I just think it's kind of like a sexier look. So that is what we did. So all he did was just the color that he uses, he just kind of just combed it down into my roots. And um, then he used the Olaplex in that too. And um, I didn't get it trimmed this time. He said I could wait one more time. I told him I really want to let it grow out because it's weird. It's like I really liked it short in the summer. I guess because you're wearing dresses and your shoulders are bare and it just looks pretty and everything, but in the winter time, I really miss having, I at least just can't wait till it gets down to about right here. So that is my goal. I don't ever, I don't know if I'll ever have it really long. I'll definitely never have extensions. Don't ever worry about that. I have enjoyed not having the extensions. Okay, so <laughs> see, that, this is the kind of mood I'm in. So um, let's see, I got so much stuff here. I thought about only showing you the favorites of the week because I've got so much random stuff and there's a, a few things that I'm really not crazy about, but I knew that you would be curious um, of what I got of the Russian model that I was telling you about last week, the one that Taylor told me about, well tailored. And so, of course, so many of you were so nice and translated that for me. That was so sweet. I just loved it. I just thought that was so neat. So I bought a lot of what she listed as her favorites. And so I thought what I would do is show you everything that I got that she uses and then tell you what I think about it because, you know, we're all different. She's probably 20 years younger than I am. And, um, but there are a few things that I really like that she got. So I'm gonna start off with that and then I'll show you some other things that I got. Okay. Um, this is something that I actually bought when Vanessa, the bombshell sweet, she posted a picture on Instagram a long time ago, probably a month ago, and she said she was using this. So I bought it and I've kept it in the box because I didn't know if I was going to return it. I bought it from Giorgio Armani and um, come to find out, Masha uses it and that's probably where she got the idea. But it is this Lip Maestro. And it's in number 501, I believe it's called Rose something, I'm not sure. This is one of those things, I just can't figure out the best way to use it. So I think I like it, but it's not just something you're going to just, it, it is, it, for one thing, it ends up being so much darker than this on me. And it's very opaque, it's one of those like lip creams. And I noticed in the tutorial, Masha used this, and she just put a little bit on and then just rubbed it into her lips. Well, her lips are huge, and so that works for her. But with me, when I went to do that, it just got all over the place, and I lost my definition. So this is something... Ah! Put it right out the other end. This is something that um, I'm going to have to work with to tell you if I really like it. I mean, I like it enough to keep it, but um, it was just... It's just not as easy for me. I can't figure out the way. Sorry, I, I hate to keep messing with my hair, but I just... Ah, okay. Okay, this is something that she uses that I have gotten so many samples of this. 
So many of you love this Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. I think, um, who is it that really loves this? Several of you talk about it. So I bought the Sand Beige because I have tried Cashew Beige before and it was just a little too yellow and dark for me. So I got Sand Beige. I actually got a sample first and then I liked it. I went and got back and got this. And this happens to me a lot. I like the sample, but when I go back and get it, I don't like it as much. And the only thing I can figure out is I'm using more when I actually have the bottle to use it from. So I'm going to have to play with this too. And if any of you have any suggestions on how to really, really make this work, because I really love the color. The sand beige is a really good color, but um, I just, I, I haven't had it long enough to, you know, really tell you if I like it or not. And please remember too that, you know, when I get something, I can either return it. I know in a lot of your countries you can't return things, but because I buy so much from a lot of these counters, they know I'm going to just exchange it for something else or they know that they're, they've got my business so it isn't as big of a deal or I can sell it on my blog. And so that's why I feel like I can, I don't know, get things a little easier because I know I have a way to, you know, I'm not going to be stuck with them. Okay, I wanted to try the Laura Mercier Rose Blush that she showed. And my counter didn't have it, but they had this one, which was called Blush. And so I got it, and this is what I have on today. And it is pretty, but it's, I wouldn't just tell you to run right out and get it. It's um, very, I have it on today with my, one of my favorite lip liners, which is the Milani Nude. And I colored my whole lip in and then put this over it. So that's what this is good for. Because it's glossy, it's not sticky, and it has just a little bit of color, it's going to be really good for me for those days where I want to actually fill my lip in with a color like Plumberry or the that Revlon Elusive, that Matte Balm. That's one of my favorite lip products. So it is good. I like it for that, but if you were going to get it just for this color, it's not enough. But it's really good to put over stuff because it's not sticky and it's a little see-through. It's kind of like just adds just that little bit that you need. So I do like this. I'm going to take it out of the box because I know I'm going to keep it. Okay. Okay, this is probably the one thing that I can say, probably the thing that I like the most. There's two things that I really, really like that she used in her tutorial that she did. And thank you so much for you guys translating and finding out what this is but it is the Inglot shadow and the number of it is oh gosh i have it written down somewhere on my little pad oh is it written it might be on the back of this it is it is okay it is the Inglot shadow number 461 and it is i think this is the one that she uses this is what everybody said is the one that you know she's hit pan on and I can see why, because it is a beautiful color. It is the only shadow that I have on today, and I'm, you probably can barely see it, because there's not a lot of pigment to it. It's, the closest thing I can tell you that it reminds me of is Pebble from Bare Minerals. So if you have Pebble, that's very, very close to this, but you can see this has a beautiful sheen. But I was thinking that that is probably why she has, <laughs> That is probably why she has hit pan and you can see when she puts it on she kind of rubs her brush in it because you really have to get a lot on your brush to make this show but when it does the bottom it's line really, really is pretty. i really do like this it's beautiful and brooke and i went to the mall the other day and we took it i took it with me to see if i could find a matte color or bobby brown or laura mercier that was like it not because i mean this was only i think i don't know i think it was less than ten dollars i got it from beautylish but, you know, I just figured that we might have something just like it or there might be something easier to get because I had to order this. There was nothing like it. The closest thing I can find is the Pebble from Bare Minerals. So, love that. And I just put it right in my um, little Z palette. Okay, so another thing that I ordered from Beautylish was this Inglot gloss that she uses. And it's real pretty. It's a, just a good gloss and it looks good over things. It's, you know, nothing monumental or a must-have but it is pretty and I will use it I've used it a couple of times already just putting it over different um, lip liners so that's one thing okay this is something that I got that she uses that it was really surprised me it's the makeup forever duo matte in 
214 and when you look at it it is scary orangey tan looking but it's what I have on today it makes a beautiful contour and bronzer so this I really think you guys might like that's one of the good things so that's how it goes you know anybody you know if you try different things that they like some are going to work and then some aren't Okay, this I just got today. I ordered from Twee at Saks, and it is the Flush Blush from Tom Ford. And before I ordered this, I made sure I looked at swatches and stuff because these are so expensive. And it looked, everybody just gave it rave reviews, and it is beautiful. And I have it on today. I don't know if you can really see because of the lighting or anything, but it's really pretty. And it reminds me a lot of some of my favorite MAC blushes, which are like Salsa Rose, um, that Fleur Power, and a lot of those. It's showing up more orange on here, but it's got a lot of pink. It's pinky. It's just one of those beautiful colors that's like pink and coral and all the different colors put together. It's just gorgeous. So no regrets on that. And today was the first day I used it. This was it. something that wasn't hard to convince me to get. It was the Laura Mercier Coral Red Quad. And she said she liked to use the lightest two colors as her highlight. Well, I had the pink in this and loved it. And I ended up giving it to my mom because she liked the brighter blushes. And I think it was when I was going through a phase where I was using more of the nude blushes. So I gave it to my mom and I always just kind of missed it a little bit. And um, so I figured this would be a good replacement. And it's beautiful. And it's not frosty. It's just a really easy product to use. And you can, you know, there's so many different things you can do with it. So love that. And I'm definitely going to keep this. Throw that box away. Okay. And the next is. thing I wanted to show you is I got a big box of Galactic products from Galactic. And she was nice enough to send me just beautiful things she sent me there i haven't tried this yet the bb cream in f2 lots of lip glosses but last night i tried i was just playing before i got in the shower and i tried these three products and i love them so i didn't wear them today because i haven't played with them enough to make you know to feel confident you know wearing them but these two the Galactic cream to powder foundations she sent me I think it was almond and sand and love them this reminds me of years ago before youtube i one of my friends sold mary Kay, and i started wearing their cream to powder makeup and i loved it it was the kind that came separate and you put it in a compact and um so this is the almond and it is gorgeous you can see i've been I used the, I think, like, I don't know if it was a Sigma F80 or the Zoeva brush, but it was a flat top kabuki type brush. And so I figured what I'll do is this week maybe do a whole look with all these products and let you see how pretty it is because it was gorgeous. And my skin has really been acting up. I have a lot of breakouts and everything right here. I think it's because it's gotten so cold and even my eyelids were hurting. And I don't know if you remember a few years ago, when it gets cold, I get eczema on my face and on my eyelids and when I rub on it it irritates it so I have to start taking Zyrtec and I think that's what I need to start doing so I just wore my Rachel K and my Dior Star today because I knew it would cover so well and I just knew exactly what to do but this is I love it I mean you can just see the color is so pretty and what was neat is with the lighter color that she sent me in sand is I tried to kind of be fancy and do like the makeup artists do where you put the lighter color in certain areas and then you put the darker color in certain areas and it looked so pretty so I will play with that more and um, but I just love that and then this is gorgeous and I am wearing this today on the tops of my cheeks it is a powder called the star powder and the star powder sheen is the name of this one and then she sent me another one I believe called lace yeah this one is lace but sheen is gorgeous last night when i put it on it really could be just your blush it is the prettiest um i don't know if it's supposed to be i'm sure it's supposed to be just like a highlight powder but there's really enough color in this and it's not 
sparkly. It is literally just like a little sheen that goes on your skin. It was beautiful. And then she sent me all kinds of good glosses. A real pretty red that I saw in here. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram. I'll put, matter of fact, I think she's having a Black Friday sale. Maybe it'll go through this weekend. I know this video won't post until tonight, but um, I think she was having a 20% off. And you know I love, one of my favorite lipsticks of all time is that Naked of hers. And um, oh, this too. This is the concealer. And this is so pretty. And the color is CC. And it comes with a wand like that. And it looked like it was going to be very brightening. Just real smooth. And it goes right to a powdery finish. So I'm looking forward to trying all of those. And where is that one? It was a really pretty red one in here. Here it is. What is it called? Um, no, that's Pout. Oh, goodness. Here it is. Look how pretty that is. It's gorgeous. Oh, thank Full you color. so much. I'm not sure if it's pronounced Galet or Galit. That is the girl who owns it. Her and her mom own the company, and she is so nice. And so thank you so much for being so generous. And I will share all these products with you guys later after I've worn them and can tell you which ones are my favorites. But like I said, I know that I love that. I know. I like it all. <laughs> so I'll be right back. The okay, so now I'm going to just go to my random things that I got. And the other night we went out to eat. We love to go out to eat. That's what we do. <laughs> and we went to Costco afterwards to pick up a few things. We get our all our paper products there and everything. And I saw these. And I had just looked at these on, I don't know, some website. And they're just plain black lenses, black frame, Ray-Bans. And they were at Costco for $99. And I had my receipt. Here it is. Okay, they were, let's see, yeah, $98.99 with tax $105.92, which I think is a great, great price. And they're just plain, just plain Jane black Ray-Bans with black lenses. And I love them. Now, I have, I don't know if you remember, a while ago I bought the, I don't know if they're Marc Jacobs. I think they were Marc Jacobs black aviators. I'll probably end up just selling those on my website. I like the Ray-Bans better. I just didn't like the way those felt on my face as much as I do. I am never disappointed when I get the Ray-Bans. So I thought this would be, one, a good Christmas present. If you're shopping for someone, I think anybody would love these. Any, probably girl or guy, but girls I know would love this. And um, I thought this would be something good for you to get for you. It's not too expensive and love them. Okay, and then this is something that I got this week, and I haven't read enough of it yet, but Melissa here on YouTube, she had a really neat, just precious video with her son-in-law where she featured him as an author and his book, which is Crazy Janet, and he, before he moved to where she is, I'm not sure where he lived before, I forget what he said, but he worked in an office, and I believe he worked in like accounting or something and then crazy janet worked up at the front of the office and this is a book where he just kind of kept a running log of all the funny things that she said and i love stuff like this i love to laugh i love one-liners and i love funny people so i ordered it and it is funny um, <laughs> you know what my first language was broken english and it's just a bunch of good like conversations and stuff it's a good coffee table book and um I'm the best judge of what I do and how I should be compensated. <laughs> it's just a bunch of cute little stuff. So I wanted to tell you about that. And I will put Melissa's channel down below because she's doing something neat where she features everyone on YouTube, um, like shopping through YouTube and our friends. And um, so anyway, she started with that. So thank you, Melissa, for that. I love stuff like that. And then I bought a few things, including this this week that I want to show you. You know, I'm addicted to faux fur, addicted. I ordered something else this morning, 50% off from, was it 50? I think it might've been, no, it was 30% off from ASOS. And um, so I'm just gonna get up and show you my outfit and then show you the things that Today, I got. This right is back. a mink pink and it's actually a kimono. And when I bought it, I thought I was probably gonna wear it wrapped and belted, but I ended up liking it this way better. But the, what I liked the most is the print. I just love the blue and the leopard print. 
and I believe last night after I got it, I was looking up, you know, just looked it up online to see different ways people are wearing it, and they advertise it as actually kind of like a beach cover-up kimono. Hey, Chanel, where are you? Here she is. And so, either way, but I bought this. Oliver is having a huge sale, so I thought I would show you um, a few things. Well, actually, I'll tell you about a few things. I don't have time. <laughs> But this was, I think, 40% off. So it was 40% off of 97, the mink pink line. And then these jeans, which I just bought these. These are the current Elliott um, boyfriend jeans. They're very soft. They're just as nice as the um, one teaspoon, and I love them. And let me, these are on sale too. And like those jungly looking Michael Lauren pants that I got, just all kinds of stuff. And it should be all marked down on their website, too. And then the shoes I'm wearing today are the Stuart Weitzman patent leather. And so you can see, I just love this. It's a little Mrs. Roper, but I like it. I love the print. And the belt I'm wearing is the black below the belt um, capier belt. So let me go get the rest like of my this. stuff. <laughs> this is something that I bought at Forever 21 and it doesn't have a collar it's just a long faux fur soft you just could not believe how soft it is and it's like a really really light powder pink and it was only 34 dollars and it's just really cool looking let me take my here you go try it on like this so you can see it just i thought it would look really cool with you know beat up jeans a tank top or a graphic tee and heels and let's see, does it have pockets? I don't know if it has pockets or not. I don't think it does. Okay. No, it doesn't. But anyway, I thought even if I didn't end up liking it, it would be cozy enough to wear around the house or I would do something with it. But so I love it though. It's so pretty and soft. Okay. And then this is something that Taylor showed in her video. And this is fabulous. This is from ASOS and it is the... Just faux fur, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but I will put the link down below. And I ordered it and I love it. I wore it yesterday for Thanksgiving and it's just wonderful. I think she saw it on Barbara. Um, I'll put both their channels down below, but I love it. This is probably one of my favorite things that I got this week. And it just is gonna go with everything. So if you, I encourage you just to get a couple of these faux fur, just to have fun. They're just I don't know they're fun to wear and they're so warm this is jacket is just so warm so i think that is it for things that clothes and everything that i bought this week okay for accessories i have on just my sheila fajal eternity hoops i have on the jenny bird oh gosh it's a i think it was called something horn necklace and then my um, melody mermaid necklace i thought it kind of went with that and my Dean Davidson castle ring. This is my very first castle ring that I bought from Oliver years ago. And then this nail polish, I can't remember the color. It's one that Tammy sent me. I believe it's one of those um, Morgan Taylor or something like that. But I will put it down below. I love that blue color. No fragrance. Um, let's see, anything else? Oh, we are gonna go out and I don't know what I don't, I, we might go just do a little bit of shopping, Brooke and I. I know we might, Dillard's is having a sale. I know Dillard's is having a sale on their Clarisonics. They're doing a big promotion with those where I think you get 10% off and then you can, they're offering promotions with that. And I will put, um, I'll put Olivia's number down below too, just in case. So you can see what promotions they're running with that. So I was going to maybe go in Dillard's and see what kind of sales they were running. Just a little bit but I don't do anything major for Friday shopping I know we're gonna go eat lunch I need a salad so bad <laughs> I need salads for a couple days so I hope you guys have a wonderful thanks had a wonderful Thanksgiving have a good weekend and I will see you real soon bye bye